I made a video in the past showing you how to use the stereo delay effect to use it as output delays on the MR18 mixer because that mixer doesn't have output delays. And I showed you exact settings so that the effect wouldn't change the sound or wouldn't mess it up. And I used the null test to verify that what I'm hearing is correct. And I noticed that it had a slight high frequency attenuation, but it wasn't that big of a deal and you can do a high shelf. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what it's doing. And I'm using a free bit of software called Open Sound Meter. Let's open the effect and do the settings that I showed you. So I'm going to turn this all the way down, mix all the way up, low cut all the way down, high cut all the way up and turn down the feed low cut, turn down the feed left, turn down the feed right and the feed high cut turned up all the way and the offset make it zero and turn down the factor right and factor left and here you go. If you look right here you can see that it's starting to attenuate from 4 kilohertz but it gets steeper at 6.5 kilohertz and there's a little bit of attenuation down here below 45 hertz which is not huge but it exists. So what kind of EQ can we do to correct this change of sound? And I can do something like this turn on the EQ and grab the high shelf at 10k and turn it up a few decibels and go back here but you can see that's creating a bend. I want that to be straight because the cutoff is very smooth. Look at how it is going down very smoothly. So how can I correct this? Well, I don't have to mess around. I can create a filter and let's try to match the curve of that filter to the curve of that measurement. And then all I have to do is boost instead of cutting. So I'm going to select, for example, 12K and start cutting from the filter to see what happens. OK, that's bending it. Go up a little bit more. 15K, bending it a bit less. 18K, a bit less. So let's go all the way up to 20,000 Hertz, which is the top of the range of the EQ anyway. Okay, let's keep cutting more and more and more. That's roughly, let's see, a Q of 0 0.6 and a boost of 2.7 dB will correct that curve because that's the closest I can get to it. Now right here after 16 kilohertz, it deviates a tiny bit, but most PA speakers can't even reproduce that. So don't worry about it. Let me create another filter and deal with the low frequencies. Let's put it all the way down at 20 hertz and start cutting. I'm going to change the color just so that I can see it better. And if I zoom in right here, this is not exactly the shape of the curve. So let's play around with the Q. So that is matching much more closely. Let's apply these filters on the actual EQ in the mixer. Turn on the EQ and make this a parametric EQ instead of a low shelf. And the frequency is going to be 20 with EQ of 0 0.9 and 0 0.7 dB. Now let's go to the top frequency and make it 20,000 with EQ of 0 0.7 and a boost of 2.7. And make this also a parametric EQ, not a high shelf, to have the exact same filters. And if we look at it right now, here we go. That's the measurement. And this is as flat as it gets. Let me capture this and let's turn off the EQ and capture again. The purple is what the stereo delay effect is doing to the sound and the orange is the correction with the EQ. That's pretty good. Okay, so if you're using the stereo delay effect to delay speakers and you notice that high frequency dip, that's the EQ that you can do. Plus 2.75 at 20 kilohertz with a Q of 0 0.7 and make sure that it's a parametric EQ, not a shelf. And at the bottom, plus 0 0.75 at 20 hertz with a Q of 0 0.9 and make sure that it's a parametric EQ and not a shelf. I'm going to save this and give it to you so you can just load the preset without doing this every single time. And to load it, you go to that bus or matrix or whatever and you hit load and load preset and you find that preset that I gave you and hit load. Here you go. That's it. If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and click on the video on the screen right now and I'll see you there.